Hello and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. Today we're going to be having a look at this. This here item. This has some Mario branding on it, but um, as you can see, it's clearly not official Nintendo. This item came from our friends over at banggood.com. This was one of the items which I selected, which was within my budget. Banggood reached out to us and asked us if we wanted to review a number of samples, giving us a budget to pick what we wanted on their entire website. So I picked this thing here, this little arcade stick, and you can see a full review of that on the channel by just, or just clicking the link down in the description below. And uh, I also picked this thing out. Uh, I was very intrigued by it. The name of the item listed on banggood.com is 2.5 inch handheld game player 8-bit console built in 142 games. That is a mouthful. It has some text on it just here. It says 20 and 20. I can make them out. It says Bina Vadat. I don't know what that means. Uh, it has just Mario, 3D Mario on it. It has Mario Kart 7 on it, on, on the packaging. It's clearly got nothing to do with these items here, but it does come across as a Nintendo item. This here little thing cost 14 pounds and 12 pence. 14 pounds 12 pence you can pick one up today now i have had a little go of this and uh well i shall show you it is uh essentially in the house of one of these little puppies this is the game boy advance sp and uh here's one i modded earlier if you're familiar with our work you will probably have seen me making this out of more kind of Chinese uh, bits and pieces and uh, this does run full-blown Game Boy Advance games and has a backlit screen uh, let me switch that on there you go it says game box it's not official but it does run the game so I've just inserted spider-man there lovely beautiful 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 there we go beautiful screen uh, nice and loud as well as you can hear. So I'm just going to pop that down to one side. Here is an official Game Boy Advance SP. This is not a backlit screen variety. I haven't got a game in there, but uh, it's also the battery is running out on it. But there you go. That's what it looks like. That is a front lit screen. So I saw this and I thought, oh, that looks pretty much like a Game Boy Advance SP. So let's take it out and investigate what we got. First thing to note, and I'm just going to throw this packaging is we got some instructions these instructions are in a language which I don't speak which is interesting uh, so they can go away then we have three main items in this packaging number one is this game cartridge here this game cartridge has uh, new Super Mario Brothers image on it uh, which is kind of interesting you'll also notice there it is not the same size as a Game Boy Advance cartridge uh, we have a charging USB cable always good to have and we have the system itself so let me just read back the title of this item one more time for you 2.5 inch handheld game player 8-bit console built in 142 games the key word in that sentence is 8-bit this this these are 32-bit machines this is an 8-bit machine what does that mean to the un unskilled un uneducated in this manner of item this means this is effectively NES powered, Nintendo Entertainment System powered, this is half the power of a Nintendo 64 for want of a better term. Opening it up we can see it looks very bloody similar. Let's use the original GBA SP to compare. 
there you go you can see it looks pretty much the same apart from we have a speaker on the left the start and select buttons are a little wider apart the screen brightness button just here is actually a reset button this is a hell of a lot lighter uh, we have a power LED just there uh, we have two here on this side of things we have an on off switch which looks rather different we do have shoulder buttons they are somewhat different up here they work as well uh, on the back what do we have we have the charging cable it is the same charging cable that the GBA takes uh, we have an AV output just there very peculiarly if you're wondering what this little hole is that's for a belt loop if you're into that kind of thing there's the other shoulder button the hinging mechanism looks pretty much the same on the top there it says GB station whereas uh, yes a GBA SP says Nintendo and on this side we have a slider a, a wheel I should say can you see that a wheel as opposed to a slider hmm on the underside you can see we have a hatch door as opposed to a screw door so let me just pop that down and you will see what I mean as I unveil the world's shiniest battery there it is it is amazingly shiny so I'll just pop that back on there's a smell coming off it as well like a new plastic smell we have Phillips head screws in there um, as opposed to the tri-wing variety in there so that pretty much runs you through the outside of this GB station light there's the cartridge slot if I grab one of the GBA games just here you can see it doesn't actually it doesn't fit in that's because this is the cartridge which came with it you can see there it's very very much smaller so turning this on without the cartridge um, we have 142 built-in games so it says it's very bloody loud as well so I'm gonna turn that down it's got the world's loudest speaker we can see there it actually says 999,999 games in one hmm interesting and if I just bring this up to the closer camera just so you can see here we have if I get a bit if I get a bit closer to this camera there we go you can see some of the games on here Mega Man 5 Street Gangs Silkworm Super Mario 3 Snow Bros Zombie Nation Contra 6 hmm Chip and Dale Adventure Island, Super Mario Bros, and if I just press right, it just flicks the whole page. You can just scroll down individually with the D-pad. Dr. Mario, Tetris 2, World Cup Soccer, 1942, etc., etc. Angry Birds is on here, believe it or not. Uh, there it is. Hmm, interesting. So we have some snide games. We also have some official games like Arkanoid there. There's Mario Bros. Now, you don't actually get 999,999 games. You get repeats after a while. And uh, some of your favourites may not be on here. But they also, they might be on here. I don't know. That I cannot confirm. So, just flicking through nice and quick. I saw Spy vs. Spy there. Balloon Fight. Donkey Kong. That's Donkey Kong 2. Uh, just there. So here we go. There's tons and tons and tons of games. Ice Climber, Load Runner. Again, we're starting to repeat now. We have Soccer, Dr. Mario, Arkanoid again, etc. etc. But how do they play? So let's bring up a game. Uh, what game should I bring? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go back to the top. Let's just do a little reset here with the reset button. Let's go to the top. Let's load up. 
standard Mario Bros. There you go, look at that. We have our B button, our A button, our D pad here, and I'll start and select. What do the shoulder buttons do? I'm not entirely sure. They do function, uh, but away from this screen. They appear to be like a start and select for the menu screen. So let's uh, let's just start this. Maybe you were trying to purchase yourself an NES Classic Mini and you couldn't get one. I'm not turning the volume on, by the way, just because of uh, Nintendo's... Uh, well, Nintendo's reliance on stealing YouTube content creators' revenue uh, through sound matching. And uh, that is why I refuse to turn on the sound. The sound does work, if I just give you a quick second. There you go, that's all you get. Uh, it's it's the full game. This is the full game. Pew, pew, pew. There you go. I don't know why I gave you that sound effect like it it brought any kind of value to this, uh, this video. Uh, let's just go and do finish off this level, and then I'll show you another game. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a while since I played this. Uh, I don't recall this the first level looking exactly like that, but I am assuming it is. Okay, so there we go. There's the first level of Mario Bros. Done. Uh, there goes the flag and World One Two. We know all the shortcuts. Look, you can see my face in the screen there. Uh, all the shortcuts we know about in this level. So you can skip a few levels, but yes, it is uh, Mario Bros. So let's just reset that. And I'm going to show you a more curious one. Where is it? Uh, I haven't played all the games on here. That would be mental. Here's Super Mario 3. Uh, an absolute legend. Hello, there's me again. A legend of a game. Hmm, oddly, the title screen looks a bit weird. We just have the number 3 on there. I think if they were trying to avoid some kind of IP infringement, I think we're well beyond that uh, by just removing uh, the words Mario on there. But again, we have... Oh, wasn't really paying attention there. We have the full game. Uh, if I reset that, let's just go and pick a random game uh, just down here. Uh, hello, Kitty? N nope. Arkanoid. There's an arcade favourite of mine. There's the Taito screen. And let's start that. We're getting nice and close on this one. Round one. Here we go. Pew. I love this game so much. There we go. Slowed the ball down there. Doesn't that look great, guys, on the screen? Uh, what's this one do? Oh, extender. Nice. So, yeah, if you're looking for a, a NES Classic Mini and you... you couldn't get one but you want to play some old school NES uh, you can with this effectively yeah all right so you can't pump uh, your possibly your favorite games that aren't actually on here you can't put any more on but this may just whet the appetite and they're a hell of a lot easier to get 14 pounds and 12 pence all right you get the idea 14 pounds and 12 pence uh, there you go. Let me just turn this off and come back to the main camera. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to slide in our cartridge, our little cartridge. This actually says on it uh, 888. Can you see that? 888,888 in one. And we're just going to pop it in like it. I don't know what way it goes in. Like it was uh, a GBA cart. You're going to get in there, boy? Is that in? It feels bizarre. Okay, so we're going to turn it on. And here we go. And uh, there you can see. And we have menu music as well. I'm going to come back to the close-up cam. We have different games this time. But we do have some officials like Double Dragon 2. God damn, I love that game. Uh, we have Bomberman. Uh... Bomb Sweeper. Was Bomb Sweeper a game and watch game? Potentially. One of our all time favourite games here at the Game Shed, Burger Time. Uh, Clue Clue Land. We have Dig Dug, Donkey Kong 1 and 3, Hyper Sports, Spider Man 3. We've got some not so legit games in both the 
the cartridge and the system itself. Look at this, block puzzle, I wonder what that could be. Uh, there's Donkey Kong, brilliant. Let's just, there's Donkey Kong again. I'm gonna load up a game on here just to show you it working. Yeah, there's a lot less games on this cartridge by the looks of things, but let's just swing on through and see if we can find anything. No, we have a pretty limited selection on, on the cart. Uh, so if you like those kind of maybe 20 or so games, then you're in luck. Uh, let's load up Donkey Kong. There you go. That's the official music for you. And did I start? Yep, I started. Here we go. Let's just tilt that a little bit for you. Yep, all the sounds are there. And remember, you have got an AV out, so if you are one of the few people still rocking a big CRT television or, oh Jesus, or want something in AV, big screen, then this is good for you as well. But if you want to play NES games on the go, just uh, grab one of these, pop it in your bag, and you're good to go. So this was from banggood.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description below directly to this item. £14.12p, free delivery. I I cannot, I cannot really say anything bad about it. Yeah, okay, so you've got duplicate games in there. Uh, you've got a lot of repeats. I mean, more so than I know what to do with. But, I mean, maybe you've got 50 or 60 games in total in there. All really good. If you want to just quickly live that NES nostalgia on the go, grab one of these. It's light. You can take it around with you, pop it in your pocket, and uh, it is backlit. The screen is backlit. Now, that brings me to another point. If you're not particularly happy with this, but you want potentially a cheap AGS Style 101, AGS Style 101, AGS 101 style screen, potentially you can use the screen in here to pop into your Game Boy Advance. Like I did with the game box here, this is not actually official. This is all parts from a crazy Chinese system called the game box. But potentially, potentially, we can use the screen in here and replace the screen in here. Because if you have a look, you will see one is backlit, one is front lit. There you go. That screen is a lot bloody brighter. I don't know if that can officially be done yet. Just looking with my eyeballs, they look to be exactly the same size, but I'd have to do some careful measurements because if we recall the game box just here, this screen was a little bit different in terms of the dimensions, okay? This one had different dimensions, only very slightly, so I had to use a black permanent marker pen just to mark away uh, the difference. The screen does get slightly cut off on this one, so potentially what I'll do with this in the future when I get bored of its NES style bits and pieces, I will rip it apart, take out the screen, and pop it into here, thus making an AGS 101. So let me know what you think about the 2.5 inch handheld game player 8-bit console built in 142 games GB Station Lite. Drop a comment down below. Do remember to hit that thumbs up button guys and if you want to see me reviewing, having a look at any more crazy Chinese technology like this, any gaming bits and bobs, just uh just tell me. Tell me what you've seen out there in the wild. I will go and give it a test and compare it head to head with its genuine counterparts and uh, give some of the games and whatnot that come with it a run for its money. So thank you very much for watching guys. Until the next time, see you later.